Now you guys see the title and I swear this is not a razor channel of any kind. Like this is not a, a razor support line of any kind. Like, but you know, when I have these kind of issues, I, I just got to talk to you guys and I kind of want to just get all of my venting and potentially uh, searching and advice and all that kind of stuff. Things that you guys probably will go through if you have this kind of issue. I kind of want to get it all into one place, get it all into one video, see if it'll help somebody. Um, so we're talking about a, the charging issue of the Basilisk Ultimate that I actually ran into and it is annoying as hell. So for weeks, I could not get my mouse up past 40% at best. Let's talk about it. Making this video here just to kind of show you guys an issue I'm having. Now see how this dock and the Basilisk Ultimate is blinking red. The thing is, I've had this thing hooked up via USB, this mouse hooked up to USB all night. And now when I come to use it here in the morning, it's still low battery. It was low battery last night. I hooked up to USB, left it all night, and it's still low battery. It's, it's weird. And this is not the first time. It does this all the time. Now, the actual problem is that for the Razer Basilisk Ultimate, this mouse that I have right here, um, I could not get this thing up past 40% for nothing. Uh, even when if I leave it all night on the dock, I could not get it past sometimes 20%. If I were to charge uh, the mouse like, or try to plug it directly into the cable, directly in with the cable, it still wouldn't charge properly. Now that, that just pissed me off. <laughs> so th this was, uh, a very annoying issue and, I, and I'm not sure if it happened with if there was like an update to the Razer software or if there was an update to Windows maybe or something. I don't know what could have caused this because it, it didn't happen when I first bought the mouse. It, it wasn't happening when I first bought the mouse. This just came up out of nowhere and I just happened to notice that my mouse was dying quicker and quicker and no matter how much I charged it, it, it just didn't seem to help. So like I usually do in times like this, I turn to Google and Google gave me a number of different uh, possible solutions for the problem. Let's run through them. So Google asks, did you clean your contacts on the dock? The answer is yes. I cleaned the hell out of them. I cleaned them with alcohol. I cleaned them with uh, Clorox wipes. Uh, I, I cleaned the hell out of them, but nope, didn't change anything. Google asks, did you make sure that your mouse was properly docked? This was a, a situation I saw around the web where some people were saying that even though they dock the mouse, the mouse would slide ever so slightly down and thus, and thus lose contact with the actual dock. The contacts wouldn't, wouldn't be properly connected anymore, so the mouse wouldn't charge. I have noticed this. I have noticed that when I, I just uh, kind of throw my mouse onto the dock, sometimes it would not be properly seated on the dock. And so no matter how long I left it on there, it wouldn't really charge. I did check and this did not solve the situation. Even when it was properly docked, it still didn't charge correctly at all. I still couldn't get it past 40%. Google asks, did you reinstall the software? This is like uh, the basic computer IT approach. Did you restart the computer just to know, make sure? And yeah, sure, I did. I uninstalled the software, I reinstalled it, and no, it did not change anything. It still didn't charge properly. <laughs> and also notice that it sometimes when the, uh, when, the uh, when it was on the lock screen, that the software didn't even detect that the mouse was properly docked like the like that not properly docked that the mouse was even docked so i could tell from the difference in the led colors on the dock and on the mouse that it it wouldn't actually detect that the mouse was docked and so the dock wouldn't charge the mouse that was another issue i was having as well that i that i noticed which is that leads me to believe that this was an issue with razor software now for the solutions that worked or at least changed things for me. Uh, like I was saying just, just a little bit ago, um, the issue with the, the software not properly detecting that the mouse was docked when the lock screen was on on my computer, I started just not locking my computer. Security risk? Sure, but apparently that's good enough for Razer. So when I started doing this, that's when I finally could get the mouse above 20% to 40%. So that's when I actually was able to get the mouse to 40% when I stopped locking the computer and just let like the, my monitors just turn off as they usually do. Um, that happened to be good enough. So I, I got that part to do something. 
Now, nothing else I did really worked except for one thing. Oddly enough, when I started uh, turning off the mouse at the end of the day, when I been and, and then docking it, that's what started actually uh, fixing the problem for me, which is weird. Because like I said, when I first bought the mouse, I wasn't having this issue. But now, at the end of the day, I turn off the mouse, I dock the mouse, and it charges to 100% every time. Now, what does that mean? That allows me to assume, or that leads me to assume that maybe the dock is getting weaker or wearing out. Something inside the dock is degrading. So it's no longer able to charge the mouse quick enough so that the mouse can also have um, maybe the LED software, uh, the LEDs on while charging, which is funny because when you put it on the dock, it's the, the LEDs are automatically turned on. So I don't know, maybe that's not a, a, a good assumption. Maybe it's just the fact that something is going degrading inside the dock where it just won't charge uh, correctly. However, that leaves another, another question that is, what, what, what happened when the mouse was plugged in? I plugged the mouse directly in with the USB cable. It still didn't charge. I guess the issue is probably that there's just something really crazy with the software here. It's either software or the hardware, but there's something kind of crazy here that's, that's going on. I don't know what it is. Um, I, I don't know if it's the Razer software or if it's the actual hardware itself that is causing these sporadic and weird issues when it comes to charging. So I can, all I have to do is just leave it at that. The mouse is working correctly right now. Uh, when I, like I said, when I turn it off and put it on the dock, it charges fine. And that's, that's all I need. As far as anything else going on with the mouse, the mouse is not double clicking. The mouse is not doing any sort of crazy stuff. The mouse is tracking properly. The mouse works great when gaming or working or anything. Uh, so other than this weird charging issue I, I had for weeks, that I've apparently now solved or apparently have gotten around, the mouse is 100% perfect. Uh, so that is kind of all I really want to do. You guys sound off in the comments if you've had issues with your Razer Bass's Ultimate, if you've had charging issues with it. If so, you know what did you do to get around it? What was the, the, the solution that worked for you? Maybe you just replaced the mouse. <laughs> That's the solution too. Sound <laughs> off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this. I'll of course be right back to making videos here. I just moved. This is a, a new area, a new environment, surrounding area here. Uh, so I'm kind of getting things back in order, but I'm trying to get these videos back up and going. So you guys are going to be seeing videos again regularly. Like I say, I try to get one video out per week. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> All right. See you guys again shortly. Have a good one. Bye.